piece that you guys already worked on. Sahib, listen. This is a piece that you guys already worked on. And now you're going to do something called So View, So Draw. The handouts that I gave you today in front of you, those who came on time, you notice that they're not more assignments. They're just trying to show you the words of how they do the So View, So Draw. I'm not going to do this approach. I'm going to do one that I find much easier and less confusing for everyone. All right? So what does it mean by So View, So Draw? Is we're going to place the three views like we've seen before. We're going to place the front view, the top view, the right view, and the projection on the side. And it's going to do it automatically for us. So it's going to save you guys a lot of time. All right? So once you build the piece, so this is the piece we want. It's a nice piece you built. Can you close both sets of lights so everybody can see? Now if I go look and click the front view, this is my front view. Is this a good front view? Sure. This is going to be my front view in this case here. Make sure it's parallel so we can see it. This is my, oh, what happened here now? You, what happened to your thing? UCS world. Not so slow today. UCS world. And let's go back here. Let's go put it to southeast. Southeast. So this is a good projection of how the piece should look, right? He unionized it. It's already built. It's all one piece. Now that we've done that, the next step we're going to do is we're going to go to Format A4. All right, everybody's okay so far? Now we're going to go use a technique like we've done before. We're going to go do MV for Viewport. And you could go make a box like so and make a big one. Or we could do another one. We could do, uh, what's the other one we used to learn, guys? V ports, right? Enter. Now we're going to do for equal. You're going to see why I'm doing this for. For equal. And I'm going to make a box from here to here. What is that doing? It's dividing the, the, the sheet that we need into four views, which is very useful for because that's where we're going to be placing. This is just to show you a temporary one. We're just placing it so I know exactly where the boxes are going to be. If I wanted to, now that I have four equally spaced, I could add an extra step, do X line like we've done before, put it here, X line again, put it here. So I know the division of how I'm going to do. So now I can get rid of this view here. I can keep this one because I'm going to need it soon. And I'm going to get rid of this one over here. For this view over here now, I want this to be the front view. We understand? So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to click on the viewport. So it opens it up. And I'm going to make sure I go to front view. I click front. Now, is this a good view for me? Yeah, this is the front. According to this view, this is the front. I'm going based off the projection here. The next step we're going to do, see there's the front. Now we're going to click on the viewport. And we're going to change the scale to the scale we want. So, one to one is too small. Let's go, which one should we do? Two to one? A little too small. Let's go ten to one. Perfect size. So we, now we know that the 10 to 1 is a scale we're going to use. From here now, we're going to go click on this viewport, do the same thing, 10 to 1. Viewport, put it, come on. Okay. Okay, I'm getting annoyed by this uh, viewport. If it doesn't work, just do MO, just cheat. And put it to, what is it, 1 to 8, 1 to 10. Okay, so it's the right scale. We see it now? The next step is where we start doing the so view, so draw. This is just to, so we get the first view. If you follow the way that they show you on the pamphlet I gave you, it's a different view. I'm going to show you one that I find faster. The hardest part was just to do that. Once I'm happy with my front view, the next step I'm going to do now is I'm going to go to Home, Modeling, and now I'm going to go click here so you see it. Here is the solid view. Here is the solid drawing. These are the two I want to show you. So view, so draw. So now I'm going to do the first one. I click on Solid View, right? Now it says here, Enter an Option. Because I already set up the first view, all I have to do now is do ortho. 
I go click on this corner here and I project upward and click. Click until I see the actual peak. Where does it go? I think it's this, this line here that's screwing it up. Hold on. Let's do it again. So view, ortho. If I click here, click here now. There we go. It was the, it was the X line that was interfering with it. So here now, this is the view I want. This is my top view. It tells me now to put it in the center. I said, okay, this is a good center. If I'm happy with it, I press enter. Now it says, specify the first corner of your viewport. Now I'm going to go from here to here. Click the viewport. There's my first view. Now it's asking me to name the view. So I'm going to press here, top view. Top view. All right? Press enter. Now you go and you can press escape. Go to the one we made before and erase it. Why? Because we need to erase it. The first one was just there for reference. From this one here now, we go back to solid view. Click ortho again. Go to the bottom part and place it in the middle. That's perfect. That's the same view we had before. If I like it, I press enter. Now it says specify a corner for the viewport. I can go from one corner, I can go to the second corner, right over here. There's my two views. Then I go change the name to front view, right? I press enter. Because now this is this, the one I just built, I can continue. I can go to ortho, go from this corner now, and specify towards the right. And there's my right view, right? I press enter. Make a viewport around it, like so. Call it right, yeah, right, right, view. Enter, enter. Now I have, now I have the three views plus my orthographic view. What's the next step to do? I don't double click in there and screw up everything. What I can do, yes, that's important. I'm going to go, because a lot of you guys have the trigger thing, is I can lock the viewports right away. So I'll do this. I'll grab all the viewports, and I'm going to change them all, first things first, to home, go to layers, and switch it to viewport. Okay? The one we had before. Then I could go to this one here, lock the, lock the view, Go to this one here. You should be able to grab all at once, but it's yeah, just in case. I'm just going to do one at a time. Lock the view. Why am I locking the view? I don't mess around with the view and go spend more hours doing it. Now that I did these three views, what's the next step to do? Is what? Is I'm going to go to the second option called Solid Drawing. I'm going to click on Solid Drawing. Now it says select the objects. I click one, two, Three. Now don't get angry now when you see what happens now. By pressing enter, it's all done. You see that? It automatically does the views for us. You're also going to take note that once we start doing so view, so draw, that it automatically adds us new layers. We have here, if you see here, the top view. Dimensions, hidden, visual. The right view, the front view. We understand? It automatically includes three views per piece. If you start drawing it, then your neighbor beside you hits escape, and then you go continue, you're not allowed to rename the piece. So if you use front view once, you have to make sure that you select anything that corresponds to that name, and then you can erase it. That's what I'm trying to tell you. So if you make a mistake, you might have to do front with two T's. Just add an extra T or a different spacing. But just do undo if you mess up. But overall, you notice, it automatically does it for us. Now, why is it that the hidden lines work all right away and everything? It's because everything was already loaded for us. When we use the template file, we loaded the line types already. They're in there. The hidden's showing. The center lines are showing. So everything's already loaded onto the computer. So when we do the so view, so draw, it finds it and it takes that line type. If you guys open a new file from scratch, with no template, nothing, and you do the so view, so draw, 
all the hidden lines are going to be solid lines. None of them are going to work unless you go there and change each one. You physically would have to go, for example, you would have to do LA. Okay, let me put it back on the screen. You would have to go here. Like this, you would have to go find the name. So in this case, where's the names at? Oh, it's on the other screen. There you go. You would have to go. Okay. My screen's too small on this side. And you would have to go all the way to, see, hidden. For example, the right view, you would go to the hidden. For the front view, you go for hidden to the top view. And then you're going to have to go all the way to the right where it says line types. You would click on it and load the hidden one. But if you already use the templates, you don't have to worry about that. It's already done for you. So now you notice I have the three views. If I open up the 3D view, you notice it automatically gives me lines. That's the actual projection of it. It takes it and it projects the lines for you at a different level. If I go back to Model A, now, if you're doing the older way of doing it, where you're, draw, you're dimensioning in the model space. This is important. When you're doing that, if I click on this view here, what's this view called? This is the top view. So if I double click in there, and currently my layer is on, we'll just put it at zero for now. Okay, my current layer is on zero. If I start drawing, so let's just do an annotate. Let's do the circle here. Uh, that I mentioned. Let's do this line from here to here. What do you notice right away? That it's showing up on the orthographic view, but you see it nowhere else. Why? Because the viewport, what it does now when you make the so view, so draw, it freezes all the new layers you're making and only allows you to show it on top view dimension. Top view hidden. Top view, uh, what's the last one called? Top view. visual. So you notice everything gets black. See, everything's hidden over here. So what you need to do if I want to do dimensions is I go into the view right now. I go layer. I go make sure that I'm in the top view dimension, right? Now I go annotate dimension. If I go from here to here, you see that they're working. Again, the scale is too wrong because we're not supposed to be doing it anymore. But you notice it only shows it up on that view. Is that clear? But in our case here, if we're doing the way that I asked you guys to do, and I double click here, and I go back to home, I go layers, and I go to dimensions. Uh, where is it? Notes. Come on. Notes. And I dimension it above the thing like I've showed you guys before. Annotate. On their notes. Dimensions go on their notes. Not in French. You see? Annotation. And they work. It's always going to be clear. It's always going to be the right scale. Is that clear? You can do the center lines here and so forth. Yeah. Well, because if we're doing it the way I've been asking you guys to do it in paper space, then you don't have to worry about that. Because then if you do it inside model space, you have to change the scale. But now the new standards are everyone's doing it above the paper space because it avoids trying to figure out what scale to use because everything's going to be perfectly the same size and the same location. No. But if you do go in a company that says, no, no, I want you to do it in model space, then that case here, then you go back and you say, okay, if I'm working on the top view dimensions, I go top view dimensions. If I'm using the front view dimensions, I use the front view dimensions. Understand? Good. So that's the so view, so draw. It's not hard. Done. Print it. Fill in the title block. Finished.